Welcome back, everybody. My name is Mr. Campbell, and tonight's tutorial goes back to the beginning. Um, in my excitement and haste to jump back online and start doing tutorials and videos and stuff like that, I uh, did not go over some of the basics. I just jumped right in. And so uh, tonight we're going to answer the question, what is a Google extension? How that's different from a Google app and how they work together to make your Google Chrome experience amazing. Um, so a Google extension is in its full name, right? A, an extension of Google Chrome, the web browser. And what that does is that extends your web browser to do other things and to be more powerful and to um, be more productive, save time, energy, and frustration. A Google app could be created by Google, but it could be also created by third parties that are an extension um, of Google Chrome or they work outside of Google Chrome and they're a web-based app, but they connect with Chrome. So for example, Google Drive, right, is an app um, that works within the Google suite world. Now, if you've been working with Google for a long time, you know what Google extensions are. However, having looked at the comments and different things from the past few weeks of videos, there are a lot of people who are jumping onto Google Classroom or Google Meet or all of these Google tools that have never used uh, or been in the Google world for a long time. So this video is for you. Um, and we're gonna talk about what extensions look like. So on my Google homepage right here, right? This is just google.com, you can see right here. I have a lot of extensions here, and these are extensions that I have installed or added on to make my user experience a little bit better. And I'll just jump through them really quick, right? This is called Tab Saver. It saves my tabs at the end of a session. Now, this is something that I needed four or five years ago. Now, Google does that on its own, right? This is Grammarly. When I'm writing emails, because I write a lot of emails, um, you know, anywhere from six to 7,000 words a week um, in emails. It helps me go through and catch some of those things that I might be missing as I'm just flying through typing my emails, right? Google Keep um, is another um, Google extension slash Google app because I can get it on my phone, which allows me to do voice to text, text pictures, create PDFs, create uh, OCR images, uh, do audio, um, draw and take notes and different things like that. I won't go through all of these, but you can see there's some, right? There's a Pinterest one. You might be familiar with that. So I can pin images to my Pinterest board that I created for educators and teachers and stuff like that. How do we get extensions? Well, we go to the Chrome web store. So I just slid over here and we're going to click right here. There are thousands and thousands of extensions. They fall into three categories, right? Uh, well, two categories if we're starting off at the very beginning. Free and freemium or premium, right? So freemium means the base version is free. So think of like Spotify, right? Or like Apple Music. It's free to get certain things um, or Pandora, right? It's free to get certain things, but then you have to pay for the premium version, which grabs all the stuff that you want, like selecting playlists and listening to whatever group or band or artist you want at that moment in time. Whereas just in the free version, um, it kind of jumps around for you. So um, the other part of Google is because it's so large, there are tons of developers creating stuff. So these extensions are um, being updated and creating all the time, which also has its drawbacks, right? There was, you know, in the news recently, there was some studies that found that some of the Google extensions or apps um, on the phone were not safe and people were, you know, losing their data and different things like that. So whenever I download an extension, I look for the last time it was updated. Are the developers still using it? Is it the best version of that extension that I want to look at? And so as I jump into the extension, you'll be able to see here that I can actually select the categories that I want. And what Google does, it's great, is based on my usage in Google Chrome, we know this, right? Uh, the Google takes a lot of information from us. Based on my usage and what I do in Chrome, it's going to recommend extensions for me that would help me or that Google thinks would help me be a little bit more productive, right? And so when I search on that, it's going to um, basically pull up some of these different extensions and it will also connect with extensions that I've already used prior to this. Now, if I go into these and I hover all over them, right, and I click on it, I'm still haven't extend, um, installed it yet, 
but this is Google um, Photos from Google Earth that just sit on your desktop when your desktop freezes and you can see those pictures. That's an extension there. So one extension that I found that I thought, oh man, this would be really helpful is called Picture in Picture. And so what that is, is that's the classic like TV, you have your big image on your screen and then you can have a smaller video playing up there. And I thought, oh, I wonder if they have this for computer, right? And so if I can spell correctly, again. Um, we got a picture in picture, it's not the one we want. Picture in picture Chrome, right? Offered by floating video. This one's offered by PIP. Uh, there was one that's offered by Google. Let's see if I can scroll over to that because I found it earlier. There it is right there. Picture in picture. I forgot my hyphens. Um, so picture in picture is in the simplest terms, right? Allows you to watch videos in a floating window, always on top of other windows. So you can keep an eye on what you're watching with interacting with other sites and applications, but then you could have this window here. Now, the reason I say this, right, is because I am still actually going into work as an administrator. Um, I'm still going in, we're answering phone calls, we're making appointments with parents. They need to come pick up stuff from their students' lockers. We're checking out Chromebooks. Um, so there's, you know, one of us is we're kind of rotating turns, but there are times at work when I want to have something playing in the background while I'm still working on my stuff. And so this picture in picture allows you to do both of those things at the same time. Now I look, when was it last updated? Last week. Um, if I want to go to the website, I can go there. And then usually what they'll have is either a video or some screenshots to do that. If I add this to my Chrome, right? Again, this is extending what Chrome can do, the web browser. If I click on add to Chrome, it's going to add that, right? And let me just shrink this down like this. Um, we click on add to Chrome. It's going to check. It's going to read all of my information, the websites I visit and all that different stuff, which they already do anyway. I'm okay with that. So I click add extension. And what you'll see now is that it's up in my extensions. Now I have a lot of extensions. Now, one negative part about running a bunch of extensions, it actually slows down your browser, right? It slows down the Chrome browser. I only have about seven or eight running. And at different times, I use different extensions to be more productive, right? Depending on what I'm doing. So as we get over into the summer and I'm working on more reports, attendance reports, tardy reports, different things for the state that we have to report, I want to turn a lot of these off and then open new ones or premium ones that I've paid for, right? Within the Google suite, you can add extensions that are specific for specific Google apps. So if I'm in Google Drive, I can add extensions that would enhance my drive experience. If I'm in Google Docs, I can add um, extensions that help and amplify that. So one of those is Read Write, which allows me to talk um, voice to text and then vice versa. I can highlight something and it'll read it out loud. We use that in our school all the time, right? Taking tests, different things like that. So in its simplest form, a Google extension is something that makes Google Chrome better, more like a Swiss army knife to do small menial tasks that save you time, energy, and help you not be as frustrated. So as we're going back, my plan is hopefully, right, is to do a tutorial on what I feel are the top 25 Chrome extensions for teachers or for educators over the next, you know, six to eight weeks, right, is depending on other things that come out. So again, the difference between an extension and an app, an extension enhances Google Chrome, the web browser, an app is something that's web-based that um, is added, such as Google Drive, um, something like that. Again, I appreciate you being here. If you're here, it's because you have an interest in Google extensions and you want to be uh, more efficient and you wanna save time, energy, and um, frustration. Uh, I'm also assumed that if you want to do those things that you love your students, I appreciate what you do for kids. I love you. I appreciate you. And I'm glad you're here.